this is Noreen from Joy Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please click the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos come out. So today's video we are doing Nourish and Flourish kit. And this is the one from the 2022-23 mini catalog. It's on page five. So it's got the thermal like lunch bag. So this is really cool. And um, I'll show you the other pieces in a minute. But if you want this, I'll put the link in the description of my video uh, for my direct Stampin' Up! site. You can click on it. You can also click on the kit under the uh, purchase with Stampin' Up! And that'll also take you to my site. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make their cards and I'll come back and I'll do some alternatives like a paper pumpkin kit. But I did want to show you. So yeah, I just showed you the bag. They also give you some dimensionals and some of these. And then also I dropped on the ground some little pearls. And then the envelopes look like this. And I'll probably cut up the envelopes to use in my alternatives. I always do that. And the card bases are embossed. So they've got three different embossed card fronts here. So like a leaf and a design here. And th these are really cute. And then there's a whole bunch of tags. Now they have them in bold English and other languages, probably German and French. So there's two each of a language, just these top rows here. And then also we've got some more laser cuts of some flowers. There's three of those. And then these are like sticker tags. So sentiment tags that are stickers. So uh, let me make what they've got on the front here. And when I do the alternatives, if you look on the back, um, it should show you the right here. The coordinating colors are Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pool Party, and Shaded Spruce. So I'm going to go ahead and after I make these, I'll do alternatives and I'll use those colors in both the ink and the paper and uh, I'll be back. So here's their cards and I tell you what if you don't like stamping this is the this is the set for you. Literally no stamping because there are no stamps. So everything's already on there. They don't give you the insides but those are kind of easy to do and all the instructions are very similar to a paper pumpkin. Just be aware of where they're positioning the little glue dots here and I love these things but they were really using the glue dots and as much as I love them, I'm very impatient. I would have snailed it. Um, and of course, there's also dimensionals on a few of these flowers too. But all the directions were really super simple. Don't forget to turn on the back here for the coordinating colors. And um, so, yeah, I mean, they're really, really pretty. And they took me literally like five minutes to do three cards. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and... Um, come back and I'll show you my alternatives. I'm back. So I made eight alternatives and some are simple and some are, you know, a little more. But uh, this is a really easy one. I took this uh, one background card here and just layered those pieces, the uh, stickers on here and then put the flowers on. And I used the fine sparkle adhesive back gems uh, in the middle there and just here I use Calypso Coral, Basic White, and I cut off part of the sticker for the um, the border here. I cut the, the shaded spruce part of the sticker and just made that edge. So this is alternative number one. Here's alternative number two. And what I did is I took just a shaded spruce uh, card base, five and a half by four and a quarter. And I took the envelopes. I destroyed all the <laughs> envelopes because I like the, the paper inside. So this right here is four by five and a quarter in the um, pool party envelope. And then the petal pink envelope is three and three fourths by five. And then I cut one of the card bases, one of the embossed card bases, and that's three and a half by four seven five. I took in cor Calypso Coral from Stylish Shapes and cut a frame. So you take the largest shape and the next one down and I made a frame out of it. And then on one of the other cards you're going to see coming up, I took another card embossed card base 
and I cut out one of these shapes and I just put that in the middle and remember that card I just did and I cut off the uh, shaded spruce part of the sticker well here it is right here I just put it in the middle and cut off the ends and then it put the um, sentiment tag up on dimensionals and then put the little doohickey blingy things and then on the inside here's the envelope again now a lot of these envelopes what you can do because they're really quite frayed when you cut them because they're envelopes they're terrible paper it's terrible paper so what i'll do is i'll either take my poke uh post apocalyptic finger and lick it give it a little covid and put it around the edge and it usually takes off those little frays or i'll take my stamp and write and these things just don't get as much credit as they're due and i'll line the edge with the with the stamp and write in the color because the core of that envelope is white so i'll either edge it or i'll lick it and it takes off those frays but um this is the envelope this is also the envelope basic white put a little flower here and this is alternative number two here's alternative number three now if you go to the description of my video i'll give you all the items that i used and with all the clickable links you can click on those links and you go right to my stampin up site to order the kit um you know this beautiful kit that comes with this lunch bag and by the way i'm going to probably sell this as well if you're interested um and uh, click on those links i'm also an amazon affiliate so if you like my glass here Everything is a clickable link in the description along with the dimensions and everything. So number three, what I did is I just lined up all the flowers here. I put the little uh, bling that you get in the kit. I used the Pool Party Sheer Ribbon. And I also did use Go-To Greetings. I used Go-To Greetings for um, the Happy Birthday and everything. I also used Peaceful Moments and another card. And, and those are the only two stamps. So these are great because I should have really, really used this thank you from this set. So you didn't have to use this one. So really, you can use either one. But um, just layer this up with the, the ribbon and dimensional that up. And then on the inside, this is Pool Party and just basic white and this is alternative number three here's alternative number four and i just took a basic white card base five and a half by four and a quarter i took the uh, envelope again and i cut it up uh with the background here this is like four and an eighth by five and three eighths and then use the envelope the petal pink one and this is four by five and a quarter and then I took um, part of the envelope that had the shaded spruce on the inside and use my border dies and use this one because I wanted to create like a mound looking thing for the flowers to be on so I created my mound and I dimensional most of these uh, yellow flowers up but I did flatten snail some of them like these two are flat and then I took that pool party ribbon again and then bumped this one up on dimensionals, put on the little bling. And then on the inside, I used that ribbon again here on the uh, inside. But this is pool party just cardstock because I ran out of the envelope. And then this is the envelope here and basic white. So this is number four. Here's alternative number five. And what I did is I took my stylish shapes and I cut... Um, a square here and I cut a square there that's the square I used in the previous card so I'm reusing what I've taken out and then I took some basic white paper and I blended in old olive the background here and I uh, snailed it on the inside of the card so it would have that different color and then I dimensioned up my flowers I used the fun flower resin shapes these are really cute and this, of course, is Daffodil Delight here. Took some basic white. And it's also on that leafy kind of embossed um, card base that they give you. And I took the smallest and the second smallest. And I made a frame here. And with my polished pink, I put in the ribbon. And I tucked it behind that piece that I put on in the old olive. And then on the inside, it's just Daffodil Delight basic white. And I stuck a little flower in there. So... This is alternative number five. 
Here's alternative number six. And I took that embossed card base here and I used the envelope, the green shaded spruce envelope, and I cut it up, put it on top. And then I took my fabulous frames with Cora Calypso because if you notice on the instructions from the kit, it's just like a paper pumpkin. They will tell you all the colors that match the uh, kit. So Calypso, Coral, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Party, and Shaded Spruce. So I took Calypso Coral and I cut it out with my fabulous frames, the largest one, and I used my foam adhesive sheets. Much, much, much better than using dimensionals if you want to make a, a solid looking frame. So I made a frame out of that, put it on top here, put in my little flowers and uh, these are snailed and the flowers are dimensional, dimensionaled my sentiment and also used go to greetings in shaded spruce there. And then on the inside it's Calypso Coral. I did another frame with shaded spruce in the envelope. So this is the envelope shaded spruce and just a basic white. And this is alternative number six. Here's alternative number seven. And I took that one um, embossed card base and my basic border dies, which has a die that looks like that same kind of shape. And I cut that out and clipped a coral and just cut off the edge, put it on the sides here. And then um, actually before that, I took the whole card base and used my pool party and just blended the whole background there. And then took my Stampin' Right, again, if you look at my videos, I use these quite a bit. They are, they're a lot, but they're a good investment. And I took the skinny end and I just reinforced the edges right here the whole way through. And then I put on the Coral Calypso edges here from the basic border dies. I also cut one of the tags because, uh, you know, we're given like a million tags in this kit, but, you know, a lot of them are in different language. So I just turned it over. I cut that same um, die here with that same kind of design on both ends and took my Calypso Coral and stamped in peaceful moments, which I could have used the thank you from uh, Go To Greetings, but I didn't. Uh, but this one's from Peaceful Moments and just put on the little flower. And then on the inside, it, this is just Pool Party, basic white. I did that Calypso Coral in that die cut again. And this is number seven. Here's alternative eight. This one's actually pretty easy. It's just a black five and a half by four and a quarter. I took the envelope, that shaded spruce envelope is the background here, four, and a, four by five and a quarter, and put another black one underneath and just made it a little smaller. And then took the envelope again on this edge here and took one of the stickers stamped happy birthday on it from Go To Greetings. Also that envelope I edged with my Shaded Spruce Stampin' Right because those, like I said, those envelopes, they fray, they're, they've got a white core. If you edge them, it kind of gets rid of that. And then I dimensionaled all the flowers and then I snailed all the leaves, put the bling on, and then on the inside I used an envelope again basic white and that sticker. And this is alternative number eight. And here's all my cards all at once. If you like these cards, like, subscribe. And if you click the little bell, you'll be notified when my videos come up. I usually do two a week. If you want to know about any of the supplies I use, go to the description of the video. You can click on the links. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so I'm completely safe to click on links. And of course, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and you can purchase any of the Stampin' Up! items there, including my used kit. So I've got that cooler bag I'll never use because I work out of my house and but that will do it for me thanks bye